And this is third and fourth. An equally close dice. Steve Ward from Steve Williams. We wait now on the fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth placed riders. That's them through Charlie Corner ahead of Brian Reed, Johnny Ray and Mark Farmer. This is Tim Poole at the back of Group 1. We wait now on the leaders in Group 2. And that's Colin Gable. He's lost the front end of the Honda. Demolished the bale, but luckily on his feet. Machine in bits and pieces. Riders picking their way through the debris. As Gable walks back down towards the medical aid unit, he'll be attended to by the doctor. But a very lucky man indeed. He did the same thing in the Isle of Man with an RC30. Wrote it off, Alan Irwin through there. The machine being wheeled away to get it into a safe position, get the road cleared of the bale. At Wheelers, it's still Joey and Robert. These are the two Steves, Ward and Williams, third and fourth positions. Then a gap before we have Brian Reid, who has moved up to fifth, ahead of Charlie Corner, Johnny Ray and Mark Farmer. And this is Mark Granny, a Frenchman, an outrider in fact, for Monsieur Mitterrand, the French president. <laughs> 